We're excited to say that Echo 3D has made some major upgrades to the Unity SDK, and I wanna walk you through the process of installing it and getting it up and running. So we've received a lot of requests for specific features, and we definitely took those to heart. So we hope that what you requested is found in the new prefab. So first of all, you're going to download the SDK, ideally from the Echo 3D console. And once you install that, you're going to unzip the file and then inside you'll see that there's another file. Instead of previously just dragging this into Unity directly, what we're going to do is copy this and we're going to put it into our Unity project. We're gonna put it specifically in the packages folder and we're just going to paste that folder right here. Once you open Unity, you'll see that it starts importing it automatically, so that does it for you. When you want to use the SDK, go over here to these two prefabs. You're actually going to drag both the Echo 3D hologram and Echo 3D service into the hierarchy. And this can work two ways. So the Echo 3D hologram is the same as the Echo 3D script that you would drag onto anything. So it really serves the same purpose. So you're welcome to use this as a standalone game object and populate the API key and your entry ID here. Or if you wanted to just do it how we typically do it, um, you just choose your object and then you would just drag on the Echo 3D hologram script. We're gonna make sure we're looking in packages. And then we'll just drag that on here. And that's good to go. You'll see that the script attached to a game object really is the same thing as just using the prefab. It's just two ways of doing the same exact thing. So you'll see that we have more fields than we had before. Previously, it was just API key, entries, and tags. Now we have quite a few cool features and I will show you how to use them. So the API key is going to just be the same one as before. If you're new to us, I'll just show you anyways. At the top right over here, this is going to be your API key. So you would just copy that and enter it right over here. And your entry ID is, if you hit this um, upside down carrot, you will just copy this number and this is your entry ID. You can use multiple ones separated by a comma. So we'll just use that. And the tags, um, a lot of people will either choose entries or tag, it's not usually both. The tag works very similar to how you would use it normally in a Unity project and you would just go over here and add the tags as metadata and then it could be whatever you want. And over here we can do an editor preview where let's say for example you wanna make real-time changes to your model's size or placement. Let's take a look and see what the editor preview looks like. So in order to see what it looks like live, just go to Echo 3D at the top and load editor holograms. And please note this does require an internet connection to get this feature to work specifically. Great, and you can take a look and make modifications and this will show you exactly what it's going to look like in your scene once you run it on playtime or deploy the app. And once you're done with that, just go back up here to Echo 3D menu and clear editor holograms. And ignoring model transforms, this is really fantastic for people who are not used to or comfortable dissecting 3D models, especially if you're pulling them in through our Echo 3D console where we have a library of over 75,000 assets. They've been pulled in from several different places, so their measurements might not be ideal for you. They might be too big, they might be off center. There could be so many things wrong with your 3D model as far as the transform goes. So what this does is it sets generic model transformations, and if you look at the readme, you'll see what they are specifically. Disable remote transformations is another great feature. In the console, when you're editing your models, you can add metadata like changing the X location or the rotation of X. And what this does is it ignores that data. So you can continue to work on whatever you need to. There's so many reasons that you wanna turn it off. Previously, you had to go into another script and comment the line out, but so many people wanted this feature. So here it is. It's simply a checkbox. Here you'll see that we have an advanced section. We have two options, query only and query URL. Query only prevents the hologram from loading, but the script will query the hologram data and store it in query data. 
And for query URL, it queries the Echo 3D API directly with whatever request that you want. The script will query the object within the script and it will stop further activity so your hologram won't show up either. And please note that if you wanted to use this option, both have to be enabled. It is also worth mentioning that this is a very brief overview of what the capabilities are. I would definitely recommend checking out the readme that comes inside of the SDK for step-by-step -step instructions on how to set everything up and make it run perfectly.